My dad worked two jobs most of the time to, to make a living. Went to one baseball game uh, in our, my entire life when I was about uh, 11 years old. And I still remember the game. Our team lost, but my dad was there, you know. He died in March of 78. Uh, he died of a heart attack. He died in my arms. I had tried CPR on him, and he just didn't make it. It really devastated me. And I was just very lonely, seeking things that didn't have any direction. One day I walked into the underground arcade in Shelby, North Carolina. There was uh, these two guys in business suits over there playing a game called Berserk. What a winner does is they find something that they can do well and they just do it over and over and over. And uh, that's where you get your specialist at. Well, I became a specialist in Berserk. In Berserk, uh, you are a humanoid and you are just running through this very simple maze and there are these robots who don't like it. What happens is a lot of robots appear on the screen and you can't move your humanoid and they're shooting at you and you just gotta pray that joystick will kick in. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Yelda humanoid. There's also a nemesis, evil auto. It's a stop sign. Stop sign smoke. If he pounces on you, he kills you. When somebody smiles and yet wants to kill you, that is the ultimate and he was a maniac. In the game of Berserk, there are 64,000 room combinations. Well, no one had figured that out yet. I mapped out every room, every combination. I was on the top. But if you don't have someone to help you go even higher, you wane. I was a chemical engineer, mostly in the lithium industry. I was laid off from work in 1982. And Ron Bailey would prove to be an interesting fellow to meet. His major interest in his life was ham radio. I thought he'd have a, you know, a little box sitting on the table. This guy had rooms full of stuff. I have a motto, nothing in moderation. He had a tower that was only 90 foot high that you could actually walk up a ladder. Destroy the intruder. I didn't know this guy was a closet berserk player. He made me feel good because of the fact that someone older was having an interest in me. Boys, even if you're a boy at 22, you need encouragement from older fellas. We knew, as the two of us, we could beat anybody in the world. When you play a video game, there are days when you're playing the game and it's fighting you. Then there are days when you and the game become one. At some point in time, I felt as if I could get inside the machine mentally. You're fluid, you're focused, you're with the game. You're right there with it, and, and everything is right. There's nothing that's wrong. And you can even hear what's going on outside of your realm. You're so focused. There's nothing. It is almost like a spiritual experience. I've had spiritual experiences, and it's a very similar feeling. When you're playing that game, and you're totally focused, and you're totally one with that game, like a spiritual experience, but oh it's right. Twice the size I used to be. This is unreal. RKB. I thought I recognized your voice. Um, I said, I just headed up town to do some errands here, but uh, sure, you're welcome to stay a while. What have you been doing with yourself? Well, gain a little weight. Yeah, uh, well, me too. I don't usually keep grudges or anything. Life took us in different directions. When I met Ron Bailey, in that video game arcade that day, and he showed interest in what I was doing, I felt important again. You know, how important in the overall picture of life is, is him learning how to play berserk versus the guidance he gave me that you know, helped me make 
better decisions. Well, probably not much, but it's what he wanted at the time. Uh, this guy in Florida who uh, uh, don't get me took, started. Who took the record? Well, I've issued a challenge to him that he needs to play one of us because what I have said is simply this: that. The man, if you can call him that because of what he did, the man broke the spirit of the game. Chris has a strategy he uses, which is known as the box pattern, that loops around so you can go from grid one, two, three, four, and back again. The robots will always be in the same starting positions. We respected the game enough not to do that because we felt that that was um, <clears throat> not in the spirit of the game. I think maybe he was a little bit shocked that not that his score got beat him, but it got beat him by such a tremendous amount, double. He has the top score on paper, but he's not a better berserk player than I am. You're going to see it's the same four boards over and over again. That is not a berserk player. That's a monkey. You can teach a monkey how to play a certain number of rooms, but you cannot teach a man how to play berserk. You ready me to plug it in? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. Whoa, look at it. Try to cycle. It is. Mm-hmm. Trigger's getting sore. <laughs> well, we're going to see right here if we can have a vision of uh, some high scores. Well, don't expect to be. The, the fact of the matter is that, uh, you know, if they dropped a bomb here right now, the two best berserk players in the world would be gone. That's true. 